four-fifths of an oil drum have been used up. If 30 liters are refilled, it is half full. What is the capacity of the drum? Well, in this case, we can do the problem with uh, two different uh, methods. The first one is going to be without algebra. So, we, let's imagine we have this oil drum. We have taken away four-fifths. So, what do we have here now is one-fifth of the oil drum. This operation we can draw, you can put it here, one minus four-fifths. That we take away, we get one-fifth. And then we have uh, 30 liters, we put 30 liters on and we get to this mark that is like one half of the drum. So this distance in the middle is 30 liters. Let's see what's the distance, what's the, what's the difference with fractions. We, we find the difference with fractions one half minus one fifth and the fraction that we get is going to be the same than that this 30 liters. Well, the common denominator is 10, we get 5 over 10 minus 2 over 10, so 3 tenths. Now we reduce to unity, we divide by 3 in both sides, and we get done that 1 10 is the same as 10 liters. Finally, we multiply by 10 we get 10 over 10, that is one drum, the oil drum complete, and we get in the other side, the result is 100 liters. That is the result without using algebra. And in the other side, if we know how to use algebra equations, we can write. If we Want to know the capacity, the total capacity, let's call it X. And we, tra we translate, we take away from the total amount, we take away four fifths of this drum, and then we put 30 liters on, and we get this, in the, as a result, we get one half of the total drum. This is the situation translated into algebra. So now, uh, first of all, let's multiply what we can. 4x over 5, 30 stays the same, and here is x halves. The second step is to get rid of the denominators. We multiply every side, both sides, by 10, that is the common denominator. To multiply this, we have to multiply every term, so we get 10x. Here is 40x over 5, that is 8x. Here we get 300. And finally, 10x over 2 is 5x. Now we put every term with x in one side, so here is 2. If we take away 2 in both sides, we're going to get 3x. And the numbers are just 300. If we divide in both sides of the equation by 3, we're going to get 100 on the left and x on the right. So if we use algebra, we get of course, to the same result, 100 liters.